Hey everyone, Ari Mapor here, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with the Kriya KV260 starter kit from Xilinx. This device has got an ARM Cortex A53, two R5s, and FPGA fabric all on the same system on a chip. There's a full module with a daughter board that's got a whole bunch of peripherals. We're going to show you how to get started, the unboxing, showing all the interfaces, and then finally installing and running Ubuntu 22.04 on the device. So join me and let's get started. All right, so I've got the Kriya KV260 Vision AI starter kit from Xilinx here, ready to go. I'm going to unbox it and just show you, give you a quick tour of the different peripherals and what we're dealing with. So first of all, like I said, A53 quad core, two R5s, FPGA fabric, all on the same system on the chip. This module has got a lot of things for us already done. The daughter board just gives us all of these extra peripherals, which is fantastic. I love the layout that they've set everything, um, especially for the price. It's just, it's a great deal. Um, I really enjoy it. I love the Zinc Ultra scale. So we've got Ethernet, four USB ports, the display port over here, HDMI, the power barrel plug. Now, power barrel plug, you have to be aware, it's actually 2.5 millimeters. If you buy the accessory kit um, that comes, uh, you can buy that with from Xilinx directly or from Avnet, wherever else you want to buy this. I thought it was a little bit pricey, so I just decided to skip that. You can replace the barrel plug to be 2.1 millimeter standard, or you can just buy some cables on your favorite website. I bought mine on Amazon, spliced them. It was like 10 bucks for a couple cables. I have some extra now, and then I have it hooked up to my power supply over here. So we also have the USB debug port, the PMOD for any accessories, JTAG, uh, camera hookup for like an Arduino type of camera if you wanna do some uh, vision AI type stuff, and then the micro SD card. Micro SD card, I bought myself the SanDisk Extreme. You definitely wanna get something that is really high speed. I made the mistake of using slower speed SD cards and couldn't figure out why my distro was taking forever to load up. Makes a really big difference. So I splurged a little bit. This was only less than 25 bucks for 256 gigabytes. Um, the fastest I could find for the most reasonable price. Uh, it works really well for me. My boot up for Ubuntu 22.04 is less than a couple minutes. So it works really well. Uh, just to show you, I'll plug a few things in. So first my SD card, um, plug in my ethernet. I've got my HDMI over here. I've got my power. And the initial boot up's gonna happen, the communication's gonna happen over USB initially, but then after that, it goes into the HDMI uh, output. So you'll see the bootloader first loads over uh, like a TerraTerm or PuTTY type of a serial console over USB, and then eventually it'll move over to HDMI. I've also got a wireless keyboard that I've got hooked up here. And I've also got a Wi-Fi dongle that uh, works with Ubuntu 22.04. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it on. Uh, I power this at around 12 volts. Um, I give it a little bit extra just in case uh, to, just for loss over the cable. And then you see it pulls at about 600 milliamps or so, 600 to 700 milliamps. Uh, and at initial bring up, that's with a full distro installed. Obviously you're gonna do more power hungry operations later on, you're gonna need more power. I believe the power adapter is set for 12 volts at three amps. And as you can see, I've got some stuff going on over here, but we're gonna walk through the whole process of loading up the micro SD card, flashing it, upgrading the firmware and installing Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, I've got my getting started page up here, as you can see on the screen. And one of the important things that we want to do is follow the steps and the instructions in order to get our board up and running. Uh, we've already looked at all the peripherals, figured out how to connect it, turn it on. Now I want to show you how to load the firmware or load the actual distro of Linux 
on there. First, um, there are a few prerequisites. The getting started page is great. You can just search getting started with Korea KV260 and it'll be the first hit um, right, you know, in a Google search engine. Uh, if you follow that, it's pretty it's a pretty thorough tutorial that'll walk you through it. I'm going to click on getting started with Ubuntu. And the first thing we need to do is flash our SD card. Um, you need to download Belena Etcher. You could use other ways to do this. Um, within each distro, they have different ways of creating bootable images. I really like uh, Belena Etcher. It's super easy. Uh, so you just literally search for that, or you can find the link directly over here. Uh, download the Belena Etcher. <clears throat> now, uh, I've downloaded that. I have that up and running right over here. I also will need to download the actual image. So we're going to go to the Korea Ubuntu 22.04 link over here. Now, there's a little bit of a caveat. Um, it says this is a pre-production release. So at the time of recording, it's not officially released. Um, the official release will be in Q3 of 2022. That's what they said. It's not, it's still kind of, um, I, I think there's still a little bit of work they need to do, but um, the more or less it, it, it works pretty well. So I'm going to download that over here. But in addition to that, I'm going to go to the forum just to double check and see, you know, what are all the details? So um, they have a whole bunch of information over here, but what they do have that's really important is this wiki, uh, uh, Confluence wiki page. So I'm going to go here. Um, and it tells me kind of like the first things you need to do to get up and running, the requirements, all that stuff. This part is super, super, super important. Uh, when you get started with Ubuntu 22.04, you need to be aware of the fact that the firmware that comes, the firmware that comes with uh, the SOM when you first get it is an older version that needs to be updated. So we need to first, we, there are different ways to do it using uh, Petal Linux or using um, other, other distros. Uh, what we should do first is get Ubuntu 20.04, install that, and then using some commands, we will run uh, the firmware upgrade uh, to uh, update the bootloader. We're going to get through that in a minute. So just very quickly, let's go back. Instead of downloading 22.04, we're actually, we want to download the Ubuntu 20.04. So let's go here. And we're going to go to the older version right here. Now, again, there is the getting started guide um, that we can go back to. But right now, we just want to download the 64-bit. We're going to download that, and I'm going to walk you through how to do the firmware upgrade in a minute. So download that flash from file here. And if you see, there's a compressed image. Uh, Belena Etcher will take the compressed image, actually, uh, directly. So you don't need to decompress it. So we're going to select this file, select our target, which in this case is a 64-gigabyte SD card. It's not the SD card that I showed you in the previous stage. That I'm going to use for 22.04. Select that and hit flash. This takes a little bit of a while. When it's done, it'll give you a prompt showing you that it's completed. And in the next step, we are going to update the bootloader so we can then load 22.04. Otherwise, 22.04 will not work. So again, super important, 20.04, flash that to an SD card, run that, which we're going to do in a moment, do the firmware upgrade, and then we will run 22.04. All right, so I've flashed my micro SD card, and the next thing I want to do is flash the bootloader. So I want to update the firmware to run uh, the 2022.1 update. Um, and what that will do will enable my device to load to boot Ubuntu 22.04. Uh, eventually, uh, that, you, that step won't be necessary because uh, hopefully Xilinx will send the latest firmware. But for now, um, it's it needs to be done, and it's a little bit complicated, a little bit convoluted. So I want to walk you through that on the wiki. So if I get started, I go back to the getting started page over here, and I go to the download page for the Ubuntu over here. 
and that takes me to this download Ubuntu. Now it says, see this forum for more details. I go to this forum and this will say, okay, go to this Atlassian wiki page. And again, it's like I said, a little bit convoluted. Finally, we get there. And underneath you'll see it says Crea firmware updates. Um, this is important. They're going to say that it's not going to update unless you um, update the firmware. And if we go to boot firmware updates, they have a whole table that says right over here that says if you want Ubuntu 22.04, you need this 2022.1 boot firmware update, which we see right over here. Um, 2021 boot firmware update. I have to download this, but this needs to get onto the device. And when you click into this link, it'll take you to the Xilinx download page, but uh, you have to then log in and put your information and download. So I logged into my device itself. So I'm gonna turn this on for the first time. And actually I have turned this on previously. And so when you first load up, um, it will go through a sequence uh, with auto boot, uh, like you see over here. Eventually, it'll run through all of this in, in your serial over USB, and then it'll switch over to the HDMI monitor, which we're going to switch over to in a second. Um, once that's done, you need to plug in a mouse and keyboard to run it directly inside Ubuntu. I did that just to download the image because I wanted to navigate through Firefox and download there. There are other ways you can do it, maybe drop into Google Drive, maybe through the SD card. I just found it easy to download directly um, within my environment. So if we switch over to the USB um, video capture device that I have set up here, um, this will load up Ubuntu. And if you look back at my Terra term, I can log in right over here as well. Um, again, I loaded up everything um, through the HDMI output into a monitor. And then I have a USB keyboard and mouse that I could just plug in and run everything from there. So I can log in here, open up Firefox, and then download directly. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to skip that step, but it should be pretty trivial to just navigate back to the web page. Again, Firefox. So I'm going to do the rest of the steps through TerraTerm. It's just easier to, um, to run with copy and paste. They will also ask you to set up a new password, the default username and login. Password credentials are Ubuntu Ubuntu. They're going to ask you to set up a username and password at that time. So uh, set that up. Remember that because you're going to use that for pseudo commands. Uh, so first of all, we need to install this right over here, which is the um, Snap Tools. Uh, I have installed it but just to give you a demonstration this is ubuntu 20.04 so we want channel equals one not two um and again they're asking me for that password so i've already installed it um it just takes a couple seconds now that we have the utility configured we can go ahead and run the update so i'm in my downloads folder i've downloaded the boot image through uh firefox so I'm going to run sudo xilinx config dash dash all of this. So xmutil boot firmware update that then the boot dot file. And now it's going to go and uh, write the image. We're updating the firmware right now. After this, we'll be able to flash. 22.04 and run the full distro of Ubuntu 22.04 on our Zinc device. Now, again, a little bit of a convoluted way of doing this. Eventually, this should go away, but I really wanted to cover this in the tutorial because I haven't seen um, comprehensive videos of people demonstrating how to walk through this, especially through all the different conflict pages. So, after this is done writing the firmware image, uh, it'll update. Go ahead and turn off your board. We're going to flash 22.04 and turn the board back on. Okay, so I've just flashed my Ubuntu 22.04 distro onto my micro SD card. I'm gonna go ahead and power on the device. 
and you see I've got the release 2022.1. Uh, it's going to load. This is the first time I'm loading it. So it's again, going to ask me to set up a password and all of that. Uh, we will swap over to the HDMI output in a minute. Um, right now it's just doing the initial loading. This is, this is the bootloader actually. Um, and then it'll move over to the OS. So give it a minute to load up. And again, we have the uh, USB keyboard and mouse hooked up. We have the um, output. This uh, TPM error, you can ignore this at this point. It actually, it, it comes up. So if you see now, uh, everything is starting to boot on the OS side of things. Uh, it takes a little bit of time because this is our first time loading it up. Also, Ubuntu 22.04 is a little bit more resource intensive than uh, Ubuntu 20.04. So if you see now, it's loading all the different devices, all the different services. Again, this takes a little bit of time. Now it's going to open up what's called GNOME, uh, GNOME Desktop, and that is going to um, give us the ability to log in, set a username and password. Uh, this Ubuntu is called Jellyfish, and um, that's uh, the name for the operating system. So let's give it a minute to load up. And now I can log in. Again, Ubuntu Ubuntu is the default username and password. They'll ask me to set a new password eventually. Um, at this point, it looks like it's gonna load up first. Another thing that's nice about Ubuntu 22.04 is that they've upgraded the drivers to handle the fan speed. So it runs much, much quieter than Ubuntu 20.04, which is And here we go. This is the full distro of 22.04. Same type of thing that you saw before. We walked through the whole process. But now, here, and if you really want to prove that it's Ubuntu 22.04, you can open up a terminal at, let's see, ls. There we go. Distribution version is 22.04. So we have this up and running. And in future tutorials, we're going to show you how to integrate some of the real-time operating system or real-time applications on FPGAs and bring that together within the Ubuntu environment. So today we looked at the Xilinx Krea KV260 starter kit, and we opened it up, took a look at all the different interfaces, learned how to turn it on, power it on, get it running for the first time, uploading the images onto the device, uh, flashing the micro SD, and finally installing Ubuntu 22.04, get that running on your device. If you enjoyed this video, please have a look at the rest of the videos from this channel. Please hit the like button and definitely subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.